Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 4 and today we're taking a look at the 2014 Morgan Free Wheeler. Now this is produced between 2012 and 2021. So, and uh, yeah, but it's not the first time Morgan has made a free wheeler vehicle as with the V tw uh, twin original free wheelers they were made between 1911 and 1939 and then the uh, slightly more usable uh, F series was produced between 1932 and 1952 but in the case of those original V twin uh, free wheelers they were single seaters had uh, very little in the way of weight and creature comforts and were a, a cheap alternative to more expensive four wheel vehicles whereas this is none of that really it's got two seats it uh, base price for one of these is about thirty two thousand pounds so yeah certainly not cheap and uh, yeah it's hardly a uh, usable alternative to a four wheeled car especially given how uh, great four wheel cheap cars can be nowadays so uh, yeah it's more of a uh, niche uh, you know Sunday sports car kind of thing. It's not meant to be used every day. It's a yeah, yeah, something that's just meant to be enjoyed just to drive, not a uh, commuter vehicle or anything like that for sure. As uh, yeah, exemplified by uh, the lack of practicality. Under here, you've only got a battery and I think that's a fuel pump. Uh, so yeah, no uh, boot space there. And in the rear, you've got your fuel tank and maybe a bit of a gap to put something in, but. I doubt you get anything bigger than maybe a handbag in there, quite frankly. So, uh, yeah, not much in the way of, uh, you know, practicality. Two seats, uh, but no roof, and, uh, yeah, not very much in the way of creature comforts inside either. Although, probably better than uh, the original uh, 1930s cars. But, yeah, simple dials, simple interior, no glove box. Yeah, just very basic motoring but what isn't basic about this car is what it has going in terms of engine which is certainly more powerful than the original cars as it has a 82 horsepower 103 pounds feet of torque from a 2 litre V2 engine which means this is the only V2 engine we actually have on this game and it's only one of I think two or three that have a uh, V engine under six cylinders with the Fulvia being a V4 uh, I'm pretty sure there's another V4 or something like that out there, but uh, yeah, that's the only one I can think of that has less than six cylinders that is a V engine, but yeah, this is only the only V2 engine, and it doesn't even weigh all that much, surprise, surprise, given how small it is, at only £1,200. So even though it doesn't have the most amount of horsepower or torque, neither does it have all that much in the way of it to throw around. So uh, yeah, let's uh, nonetheless get out onto the open road and see what this car can do. So yeah, this is the only single rear wheel vehicle on this game. Not the only three wheel vehicle on this game, obviously, because the Reliance Supervan is also a three wheeler. But this has a far more stable setup of a single rear wheel and two front wheels, which is why the Reliance Supervan is hardly the uh, most consistent in terms of handling, let alone the potential to fall over. And uh, yeah, this is hardly 100% stable in comparison to a four wheeled car. Uh, you try to do a J-turn in one of these and you might well start leaning over onto one side. But yeah, still a uh, far more stable setup than the uh, Reliant Supervan. And uh, yeah, far faster and far more enjoyable car to drive as well. So I'll let you listen to the engine for a little bit and then we'll talk about it some more. Yeah, it really does uh, remind me in terms of sound, in, in terms of those uh, old air-cooled engines from the 40s and 50s, you know, like a Fiat 500 or something, which also only had a twin-cylinder engine. And, uh, yeah, makes a really nice sound overall, not just in terms of, you know, the way it sounds a bit older, but just in general. Not the highest revenue of vehicles, but that's just because it's uh, prioritising torque over horsepower, which it obviously has plenty of. And uh, yeah, despite, like I said, having under, the, under 100 horsepower, it certainly doesn't feel like it has that little amount of horsepower, because it can do not 60 in 5.8 seconds, which is quicker than some hot hatches from even today. Uh, not 120.250 seconds, and it goes to a top speed of 113 miles an hour, which is fairly decent, and uh, quite frankly, I really wouldn't want to be doing much more than that in a car like this, especially given... Yeah, it might have those rollover hoops on the rear there, but as you can see by my driver, we are well above them. So, uh, yeah, really not much in the way of crash safety on this. 
don't even think it has an airbag or even ABS. So uh, yeah, not particularly safe, but as far as uh, you know, unique vehicles go, this is easily well up there against other cars on this game. Like I said, there's no other V2 engines on this game. There's no other rear wheel, single rear wheel only vehicles on this game. And uh, yeah, it's also uh, yeah, pretty fun to drive despite you know being a little bit wayward. It certainly does like to drift a lot because it has that single fin rear wheel. But it's not a uh, drift that is uncontrollable, and uh, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's going to snap out of your control easily. It is very easy to control at the limit, which is great to see. And uh, yeah, at the end of the day, you're not going to find anything that looks anything like this out there. So uh, yeah, bit of a shame that they've had to end production with this vehicle. I think it's mainly down to the engine not being all that good in terms of emissions, although they are planning on bringing a uh, successor to this, which I look forward to. Unfortunately, the electric version of this car got cancelled, which is sad to see because it might well have been even more fun to drive, having even more power. But yeah, so glad that they actually did one of these, especially after so long of there not being a, uh, a three-wheeler like this. Even, you know, we've not had the uh, Reliant Supervan for a very long time, or Reliant vehicles in general. So uh, yeah, it was uh, very nice to see that they uh, brought something like this out. And uh, yeah it's certainly uh, no uh, you know show car it's certainly something that can be used on a regular basis even if you know it's not all that practical but at the end of the day it is a uh, really rather nice unique car that is also far faster than you would ever imagine it to be given the lack of horsepower nonetheless thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye